I'm very happy to welcome you all to this comprehensive and practical Revit architecture training workshop on videos. Revit architecture is a software that is used for architectural modeling of buildings. Now, on my desktop, here is the Revit architecture software. So I proceed to open it up. Now, unlike AutoCAD, Revit architecture is an intelligent software. That is to say, instead of doing drawings as you do in AutoCAD, in Revit you model. And when you model your floor plan, the elevations are being modeled elsewhere at the background. And both the floor plans and the elevations have close have close relations such that when you modify the floor plan, the modification is reflected immediately in the elevations. And when you modify the elevations, the modification is also reflected in the floor plan. Now, when you open your, your Revit architecture for the first time, this is what you see. Now, this environment is called the recent files environment. The project you have worked on recently is what we show in this environment. And in this environment, you can also open existing projects. You can open a new one. Then you can see all of these. These are templates, different templates you worked in in Revit architecture. So to open a new file, we proceed to open and then when we proceed to open, you see our default template here is a commercial template. You also have other templates, but let's limit ourselves to this commercial template first of all, and then you say OK. Okay, let's be patient for the software to open up completely. Okay, good. So this is a typical Revit architecture model mo modeling workspace. Okay, like in AutoCAD, you have here as your title bar. And then you have to the left of the title bar, you have your quick access toolbar. And then right under the title bar, the quick access toolbar, you have your main menu bars, which contains tabs. For example, in this architecture main menu, we have all of these tabs. We have the select tab, the build tab, the circulate tab, the model tab, the room and area tab, and the opening tab. You also have the structure main menu which contains structural elements structural tabs uh, such as structure foundation model and all of that and then you also have the insert tab you have the annotate tab you have the analyze tab massing and site tab you have the collaboration tab the view tab the manage tab the add-on tab the modify tab see the modify tab contains tools for making modifications. We are going to be making use of all of this as we run through a comprehensive workshop of how to use the software. And then uh, this is your model area where you do your modeling. And then to the left of the model area is your project browser. Your project browser is an arrangement of your project hierarchy okay you can see views floor plans ceiling plans elevations lesions 
schedules and quantities, sheets, families, groups, and then Revit links. So this is an arrangement of your project hierarchy. That is what you find in the project browser. Then, of course, we have said before that this is your modeling area. Then this is your property, your, your property palette, properties palette. Now, this properties palette contains the property of any item that is selected in your in, in your modeling area. For example, now this properties palette now contains the properties of this entire model area. There's not there's no particular thing in the in the model area presently. Now, if you have a model here that contains doors and windows and floors and ceilings and all of the rest, if you highlight or select a door or a window, the properties of that door or window is what you will now find in this properties palette. Okay? And then, of course, this is your view, your view interface. Your view interface, it contains so many tools like the visual styles, the crop view, see the temporary hide slash slash isolate and so on. And then this is this is your command prompt. Your command prompt gives you an idea of what to do when you pick a tool or a command. For example, if I come here and pick on wall, you see, the command prompt is telling me to click to enter wall start point. So it gives you an idea of what to do when you pick a command. So that is all about the general interface of the Revit architecture environment. Thank you very much for watching. In the next section, we are going to go properly into modeling. We are going to see how to make levels and how to take our modeling from there.